submit. That was a tough one because how I grew up, where I grew up, and just, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's not a word that's really used. Give in, yield, that means I gotta wait before you, you. Like I gotta wait, then you pass me up and I have to like wait. No, give away, I would take. Back down, <laughs> cave in, bow, like bow down. Man, I had a hard time with this. It had been the way that I had been living like, so like I had been living backwards of every single one of these things. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never... Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi casa, you already know what time it is. Soon tell us about Ron, because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. It is Monday. Again. Yes. My, uh... California trip is 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 coming up here pretty soon. I'm gonna be in, in LA for the fitness expo. Um, I have a I have a lot of work to do this this year, and uh, you know I, I'm hoping that everything just makes my boss happy because <laughs> you know I I have submitted completely to the will of you know, God and it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful because I, I was a control freak. Like I was complete, I, if I didn't have control, um, I, would, I would go crazy. And even in my relationships, there was, there was points and times in my relationships where like I had to completely control where she was looking and how she was looking. Um, and you know, I, I was, I wasn't a good person. I, I was a very bad controlling person. Um, you know, this this is, has been a, a journey for me, but a, a beautiful journey that I I, I I I love. Yes, for like me and and many others, it it, it was a struggle to letting go and, and allowing someone else to take control of, of my life. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> It was, but man, once I learned to do this, like my my spiritual experience or or, or like spirit, I felt like it was like enhanced, like it like it got superpowers. I, I everything started to transform in my life. The way I spoke, uh, the way I treated people. It only happens though with like true submission. It doesn't it doesn't always come naturally because we we are like natural born sinners. Like we just and I mean I, I sit here and I and I think about I'm like why am I how am I gonna tell people 
uh, about God and, and how am I, you know, and I heard this song on the radio where it said like uh, Moses had stage fright and David showed up with a, a rock to a sword fight <laughs> and uh, it, the, the moral of the, of the song is that everybody has a purpose, right? And, and I have to sit here and think, man, like, why didn't I submit before? Like, what, what, what was it? What, what? And I, I think it was for me. I, I was afraid. The enemy made me believe that I, I was afraid of a, a lot of things, a lot of different things, uh, even knowing the truth. <laughs> um, and I, I really didn't even know God to tell you the truth like the times that I went to prison and I prayed and I, I read the Bible and I got certificates and all these things um, really didn't mean nothing because I wasn't really getting to know him so it, it was yes it was a seed that he later used but I, I just I was afraid I didn't I didn't know I, I didn't even know how to how to pray and I'm starting to see now how prayer is such a such a big thing and, and the principles of prayer are important to submit also so you have to like know these things I that I knew what was better for me than God and, and the enemy convinced me of that like my whole life and you know, I, I would always crash and burn. I would take off and, you know, I would be almost reaching Mars and one motor would blow out <laughs> the next one and I would just come crashing down and end up in prison and end up alone and uh, still broke, maybe a little bit more. Every time was a little bit more. And I, I didn't understand the, the consequences of being outside of like God's will. I didn't I didn't understand how how bad the consequences are about everything, sin, everything. Like I didn't understand it. Now I understand that like the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. Anytime we find ourselves on the outside of the of God's will, we're in very dangerous territory. We're we're playing with fire. Submit your ways to God, submit your gift, your talents, your abilities to God. Submit your heart to God. Submit your life to God. Submit every area of your life over to God. Submit your plans to Him. Submit to His will. Submit to His way. Submit to His plan. Submit to His purpose. Pursue Christ and He will lead and establish your path. Let his word become your cornerstone, your stance, your power move. Let nothing deter you from pursuing God. Don't let the idols and the things of this world interfere with your relationship with God. Resist the devil by staying rooted and grounded in the word and in the truth. It's a powerful thing and you read it in the scriptures of people submitting to Christ and to, to God uh, in public. It's, it's changed my life. So submitting, yeah. God often allows us to go down wrong paths so that he can teach us some pretty Big lessons that you they're taught nowhere, no school, no nothing. Um, I, I wish I could turn back, you know, the hands of time and, and submit to God's closed doors back then. And you know, I couldn't though. Instead, I, I had to suffer the consequences of putting my will and my way uh, uh, ahead of God's. A mistake that I never will ever wish to make again. So please, if you're watching this and you're listening to this message, yeah, 
Come visit us at Desert View Bible Church, located at 105 West Carefree Highway in Phoenix, Arizona. Services are on Sundays at 9 a.m. and 1045. Pick up your Bible, listen to the Word, study it, memorize it, practice it, put it into action. Hey, it, it's, it, it's training like a soldier, training like an athlete, and just working like a farmer. It, it's, it's a multiple, it's a lot of things, but it, it's a beautiful walk. And, <laughs> you know, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, how am I gonna tell people, you know, and, and I brought up, you know, Moses being stage fright, uh, my life, how it's changed and how I'm living today and how, yeah, yeah. My name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him. I'll catch you guys in the rebound.